Hi guys, Luton here, and um, so this is my first kind of, well, some of the first gameplay from Battlefield 3 PC, and this moment right here has been pretty sort of uh, typical of the kind of games that I've been having. Now this is a 48 on uh, Marquez Monolith, uh, it's not even 64, and a lot of the games that I've come into are kind of in this situation right here, where we have only one base and we're struggling to fight back. And um, I've edited this together, I think the whole round was like 25 minutes maybe, some like half an hour. I've cut through some sections where nothing really going on, so just to keep it down a little bit. But I, I really wanted to talk about a few things, um, mainly obviously around the sort of topic of PC. A lot of people that have been watching my content and watching my Twitter feed etc. will have realised that, you know, my, my sort of uh, experience into PC has not been that positive, uh, really. Uh, in fact, it, it kind of made me laugh because, um, you know, for ages I always said that I didn't think 64 was the best idea, I didn't think that it really would work particularly well, and everyone was always like, oh no, no, Luton, you're wrong, it's the best thing ever, it's the best thing, and nothing can compare. If you haven't played 64, you haven't played Battlefield 3. And I was always like, well, I'm not so sure about that actually because I think you know it probably leads to a lot of situations where you can't really make any kind of proper progress or anything and you end up in a lot of kind of as I said this week sorry for swearing but a lot of kind of cluster fuck situations where literally you just have two teams just smashing against each other and there's not really much more happening than that um, and then people are like well you know you've you've got to go to the XYZ maps in order for it to work and and you're like well hang on a minute one minute you're saying it's the best thing and it's, it's the only way to play Battlefield and then you're saying well well it does work but only on these maps and it's kind of like well you know in, in that situation then it's you know it's just a specific instance and therefore you could easily argue well hey look if you're playing Rush 24 then that's equally as valid because it often which is again what I always said was within the context of certain maps 24 is ideal on the context of certain other maps larger player counts are more acceptable and stuff so I didn't really sort of buy into this concept that you know just by having more players it automatically equates to therefore it's better it's the same kind of way that people are like well if I have a much much higher spec system I must have a much much better experience not necessarily really um, just you know and as well this is the thing I've got my pretty nice PC. I've been playing Battlefield on a PC. Have I massively found myself enjoying my experience more than on the PlayStation? Not particularly. Um, in fact, I think, and a lot of people have said, well, well, I'm sure if you go back and play on the PlayStation, you'll suddenly notice you'll, you won't be able to play it. Yeah, not particularly. Um, I, I would say if you're a PlayStation owner and you feel like, you know, from all the comments and stuff that you hear people say, and you feel like, you know, oh my god, what am I missing out on? Don't be too worried. Like, for sure, there's some little bits and pieces that make you think, oh yeah, you know, that's kind of nice. But it, it it's not kind of like the groundbreaking thing. A lot of people get hung up on graphics as well. Like, they really get hung up on graphics. They're like, oh my god, I can't watch a blah blah blah. I, I actually find that graphics are probably one of the least important things in a game. Um, and that the mechanics and the general kind of smooth play out of the game is the thing that's much, much more important. And you know, if you don't have those things, it doesn't. You can have the you could have the smartest, most slick, amazing-looking game in the world. But if the mechanics and the gameplay are not there, there's no way you're going to play that game. Like ever, you, you'll you'll play it for like a day and then put it down and be like, this is this is unplayable. I won't play it. So you know, don't want to be too much of a downer, but I just feel like the advantages have been vastly overstated. Um, but then as well. I wanted to sort of rationalise a little bit because I didn't want to sort of think, oh man, I didn't want to be like this, well, <laughs> me, you say, Lutin, be negative about something, this can't be right. But <laughs> um, I didn't want to be sort of too uh, one-sided, so I tried to rationalise things a little bit. And this is really where I came to, and it's a pretty obvious thing, I mean anybody would come to this conclusion, is that where we are right now is we're, we're at the sort of final cycle, the sort of end period of Battlefield 3. And as I have said on other videos as well, you know, I've said like, hey, you know, at this kind of stage in the game there's two ways to play. You're either kind of brushing up preparing for Battlefield 4, or you're just screwing around trying to just rack it up, etc, etc. So, Whilst I have had a lot of bad games this week, where literally, you know, people are just refuse to move, they're just focusing on kills, no teamwork, just a massive slosh of, of 
you know, fighty, non really anything gameplay. Um, I, I do sort of feel like, okay, I need to, what, what the Christ was that, like, stupid, stupid idea to jump off there. Did survive though, so. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I wanted to kind of rationalise it a little bit, and, um, so because we're in that end period, I think that does directly impact the style of gameplay that you're going to get on servers. Um, a lot of people had mentioned to me, like on Twitter and stuff, when I was going, oh my god, I'm having such bad games. And people were like, well, remember Luton, you know, a lot of people will have played for an XYZ period of time and then decided, hey, you know, okay, I've got what I want out of the game, going to move on to other things. So that's completely understandable, and it, and also bear in mind things like, for example, uh, the kind of free stuff with Battlefield, and and you know you had a lot of new players come in at certain times, and so all those kind of things, that kind of definitely adds to the kind of experience that you're going to have, and therefore I do kind of take that as an element that's going to impact perhaps negatively uh, the way that I play the game is that at this stage in the game people will probably have different priorities than they would do when the game first came out and they're probably looking for a sort of different kind of experience than when the, the game first came out because they really feel like hey I've got everything there is to get out of this game now so now I'm just going to play for myself I'm not going to play for the team I'm not going to play for anybody else because at this stage in the game I don't care about that I'm playing for my experience not for everybody else's experience now personally that's not something I would agree with but I can understand that that's something people would do so so it, it helps me kind of put things into context a little bit and go, you know what, actually, yeah, okay, I can kind of put that into a piece of the puzzle. Um, the other thing is that obviously whilst my um, account on my PS3 has racked all my guns and unlocks and so on and so on, you come to the PC and even though you have a similar account, um, it doesn't unlock all of those kind of things. So therefore I've had to start from scratch. I um, have to say though, it is satisfying when you're like ranked seven or rank 13 which i think i am right now and there's players on the other team that are like 100 kernel and you still like massively score higher than them and as i said to some of the guys this week it definitely reminds me of when i used to play uh, cod 4 or even some other cods and i started another account one time and i was sort of rank three or four and there was like a team of like 10 prestiges and we're still destroying them and we still all got like massive massive higher scores than them even though you're using like the first ranked guns um but i've got to tell you i think in that game it doesn't work the same mechanically as battlefield because uh, the weapons and so on, the equipment that you choose in Battlefield do directly impede your performance a little bit more. Uh, they have more characteristics, uh, something like Call of Duty, the weapons are all very much uh, much of a muchness and so you can begin with the rank 1 weapon and perform you know, fairly comparably to other people. In Battlefield, with the whole perks and the weapon attachments, they do s strongly affect the way that you play. And it's definitely not like, you know, not trying to sort of, um, you know, <laughs> give myself excuses here, but as I said, with the other things I've already talked about, like for example the stage we are with Battlefield 3, all of those little pieces come together to just affect what's happening in a certain way and I feel like it's it's one small element of a bigger picture this week uh, which has meant that I haven't had as enjoyable games as I could have done. So you know at this stage in the game I, I don't want to sort of read into it too much. I have been frustrated because obviously you're frustrated whenever you have uh, you know, not the best games, you feel a bit sort of like, oh my god, why can't I just have a reasonable game? It's so annoying. Um, but, you know, I don't want to sort of tarnish Battlefield, and I don't want to sort of just say, hey, you know, Battlefield on PC sucks. You know, because I definitely felt like that this week. I was just like, Jesus Christ, it's so annoying. Um, but as I say, I don't want to read into it too much. I don't want to sort of label everything just from having a few bad games. Because to be sure, you know, on, on PlayStation, I've had some of the best games I have ever, ever had on Battlefield in that game. We've had the best games. I have had weeks as well where I literally wanted to just smash the controllers up and be like, oh my Christ, why is it all going wrong? So you have these periods where it all goes wrong. And... Um, the other thing is, I was like, I was a bit because people always gone about 64, 64, 64, or even, and then some people have said to me this week, hey, you know, 32, 48, they're not too bad, you know, they're they're sort of more better, they're more better, <laughs> it's the worst English ever, um, but it, it's definitely true, and I have always felt that, I always felt that like 32, 48, which is what we're on right now. That feels to me more of a sensible amount because it gives you enough breathing space, enough leeway to actually kind of move around and do things in the game. Whereas when you have just such a massive quantity of players, it's it's claustrophobically choking almost, you know, it really, really is. You just can't get anywhere with that. You can't do anything with that. And I think that, you know, when you play those smaller accounts, and again, I sort of, I was a bit, I, I went and looked around YouTube a little bit, see some other people's games, and often a lot of other 
producers and stuff, they're not playing on 64. They are playing on the more kind of 32, etc. Those kind of levels because it allows you to have a better gameplay, more sort of rounded gameplay that you can actually get something sensible out of rather than, like I say, just a catastrophic clusterfuck, which is what I've been having most of the time recently. So, what can I really take away from this week? Well, I think I've learned a few things. One is that, you know, you need to put things into context, you need to put things into certain situations. So even though I've had a lot of bad experience this week with the game, I don't think it'd be right for me at this stage to sort of put labels and judgments on things because I haven't really had enough time to get to grips with things. Also, as I say, because of the, the time period we're in, that's definitely a factor. Um, another major factor is the fact that on PlayStation, for example, I have a huge group and community of people that I play with, and I've we've all gotten very used to working with one another in the game and getting a certain experience from that whereas in the PC I don't have that it's mainly me and a couple of people and it's just not the same kind of style of situation also I'm having to play on just completely random servers right now which as we all know just suck um, it's very very difficult to get anything that you could call uh, an objective interesting game at the moment what tends to be is a, just a complete steam roll one way or the other in fact the one time where I was playing a game the other day where we originally were losing really badly and me and one other player came in and we managed to to sort of start making a bit of a turnaround immediately the admin moved me over to the other team even though they were completely dominating so i think you still run into those kind of ridiculous situations that we all know about um but as i say i think you know put all that aside obviously there's some things that i feel work better than others but as i say i don't want to sort of spend just one week and then judge and say this is at the absolute situation i don't think that's right at all i think what i need to do is continue to just work with things and then as we move into battlefield 4 the situation with the people that i have available to play with is going to improve um, i hope that new people coming back to the game for battlefield 4 and veteran people coming back to the game for battlefield 4 are going to help to build up the sort of experience there so you have more interesting better objective games and that we get back some more of that kind of actual interesting actually good gameplay instead of these complete just smash and grabs where it's just like crazy run around headless chicken time so I'm gonna keep on working through who knows maybe I'll scrape together a few reasonable games this week um, and I'll, I'll try to stay positive working on it. if anybody's got any sort of thoughts and suggestions feel free to drop them below as always I'll see you next time Battlefield 4